Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get extended security updates in Windows 7. Before we start the tutorial, I want to mention that I'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong to your system, and please proceed at your own risk. Damages to your system are possible, so I recommend trying this on a virtual machine or on an older PC that you aren't using. Now before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as it helps out the channel a ton. Before we start, your system needs to have Service Pack 1 installed, otherwise this won't work. I'll have a download link in the description below so you can upgrade to Service Pack 1 if your system doesn't have it yet. So now with that out of the way, let's start. So first, we need to install the root certificate update. Click yes on the prompt, and then it'll start installing the root certificate update. Then click restart now once it finishes installing the update. Next, we need to install the March 2019 servicing stack update. On the prompt, click yes and then it'll start installing the servicing stack update of March 2019. Once it finishes installing, we can click close, and then we need to install the SHA2 code signing support update of September 2019. On the prompt, click yes, and then it'll start installing the SHA2 code signing support update of September 2019. Once it finishes installing, we can click restart now. Next, we need to install the servicing stack update. On the prompt, click yes, and then it'll start installing the servicing stack update. Once it finishes installing, we can click close. Next, we need to install the Windows Update Agent. If you get a user account control pop-up, click yes. In the installer, click next, then click I agree, and then click next. And then the Windows Update Agent will start to install. Once it finishes installing, we can click finish. Next, we need to install the Speed Up Patches Update Rollup. On the prompt, click yes, and then it'll start installing the Speed Up Patches Update Rollup. Once it finishes installing, we can click restart now. Next, we need to install the latest extended servicing stack update of May 2020. On the prompt, click yes, and then it'll start installing the latest extended servicing stack update of May 2020. Once it finishes installing, we can click close. Next, we need to install the ESU licensing preparation package. On the prompt, click yes, and then it'll start installing the ESU licensing preparation package. Once it finishes installing, we can click restart now. After we've installed all of the KB updates, we need to install the ESU Bypass tool. When you download the ESU Bypass tool, you'll need to extract it, and the password to extract it is 2020. I'll have it linked in the description below so you can download it. After we've downloaded and extracted the ESU Bypass tool, we'll need to right-click on Live OS Setup and click Run as Administrator. If you get a user account control pop-up, click Yes. And then press the number 1 on your keyboard, and then it'll start installing the ESU Bypass tool. Once it finishes installing, we can press any key to exit. And all that's left to do is to check for updates. So to do so, we need to click the start button and then in the search box type windows update and then you can either hit enter on your keyboard or click the first result that comes up which should be windows update once we've opened windows update we can check for updates if you still get an error when you check for updates we need to install the kb3102810 update for the 32-bit version of windows 7 you'll most likely need to install this update the process is the same for installing this update you'll just need to run the update and then on the prompt click yes and then it'll start installing the update and then you'll need to click restart now. And after you've restarted your system, you'll need to click on the start button and then type Windows Update in the search box. And then you can hit either enter on your keyboard or click the first result, which should be Windows Update. And then you can check for updates and then you shouldn't get the error anymore. And there we go. We've now found 170 updates and 40 optional updates. And there we go. That's how to get extended security updates in Windows 7. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like my videos, share them with your friends, and let me know in the comment section down below if this worked for you. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.